I know we're a bit late to the party and perhaps the video's not going to be as big in length as it probably should have been, but honestly, after watching all those videos and deciding, you know what, considering that some of those are really big and they already made their points within the like first couple of minutes. So the video might not be big in length, but certainly is big in subject. And today's video is about a particular person that we all know and love and how I've been covering a little bit too much recently, but I've got to do this anyway. And this is about Onision and his uh, ex-girlfriend, uh, Billy. Now, what's happened between Onision and Billy and his wife, Lainey? Well, it's interesting that you may ask that, and most of you already know about this anyway. But what happened was that there was a little bit of a disagreement. There was a little bit of domestic drama. And in the end, Billy was kicked out. They all split up from their uh, weird little menage a trois. And now Billy's on her own. And Billy released a six-minute video about the reasons why they split up and how Onision and Lainey essentially ruined her life. Although, mainly the blame was levelled at Onision. Now in it, she shows how Onision basically manipulated her, basically treated her like shit, and she was basically smeared and attacked for smoking weed, how her family are apparently druggies and drug addicts, again, mainly for smoking weed, and how that makes them bad people, and that makes her a bad person. And the main thing about it was, she didn't tell them that she smoked weed on New Year's Eve, and apparently that was cause for Onision to flip the fuck out like a complete and utter psychopath and attack Billy for that. Not in the physical way, but in a verbal way. In the video, she talks about how he said that she should get a tramp stamp saying that she's a liar because she didn't tell them that she was smoking. So she's not actually lying, she's just omitting things from them. Because she's 20 years old, they're also adults like she is. She doesn't have to tell them what she's doing in her life, even if she's living with them. If she wants to go and smoke weed, she can go smoke weed. Onision and Lainey really shouldn't be trying to control a grown-ass woman about what she can and cannot do. But apparently there's house rules about smoking weed. Even if she's not actually smoking weed in the house, she never said that she did. But hey, that's besides the point. Now, in this video, she talks about how he also said that she, she should also be chained up to the wall in the basement, which apparently would be hot as some kind of punishment for basically lying yet again. I'm sorry, but like, what in the world does he think this makes him look like? And in his videos, he's defending this, saying, oh, it's not me, it's her. She's the one who's the bitch. She's the one who's causing all the trouble because she had to make that video, but also slander us and attack us online because, you know, that probably wasn't the end of what she had to say about you, by the way, but hey, whatever. But people asked Billy, you know, Billy, it's one thing to accuse Nisi on these things. Do you actually have evidence? And lo and behold, she releases a DM on her Twitter for the world to see. And in it, you can see all the things that Onision tells Billy to do. Because apparently she broke the rules. She was a naughty girl and has to be punished for it. But what I don't understand is, why such an extreme response to someone smoking weed? Why such an extreme response to her breaking house rules and other things that she apparently must have done to Onision and Lainey? Well, the answer is very simple, people. Onision is a control freak, and to a lesser extent, so is Lainey, as uh, Billy doesn't seem to hold her in much high regard either and seems to consider her to also be a waste of space and not worth her time and also to blame. Although maybe not as much as Onision, who seems to be the main culprit here. When I look at the DMs, at first, I thought, well, this is sounding like a very controlling dad. Like, that kind of dad who won't let the, the girl have, like, her boyfriends in the house, or at least to stay over, but he allows the girlfriends to stay over. Uh, he, she can't stay out very late. She has to come in at a certain time. She can't do this. She can't do that. Very controlling. That's what I got initially. But then, the more I thought about it, the more this began to look more like more of a control freaky kind of partner, because it was, of course a bit of a threesome between him, Lainey and Billy and all I can gather is this is verbally and almost mentally abusive because he's trying to control every aspect of her life, trying to basically get her to do things that she didn't want to do and he's exerting harsh punishments towards her and making her feel like shit for doing things that other people do and not have to have trouble with because apparently smoking weed is a really bad thing. 
Having a family that smokes weed that don't doesn't harm anybody at all is apparently something low and disgusting that she has to be punished for that. She has to be smeared for that. She has to be insulted for that. This is Onision and Lainey trying to make themselves look like they're these squeaky clean people who are so moral and uptight and just so upstanding when really they're nothing more than control freaks who are attacking this girl because they can. They're controlling this girl because they can. And I'm for one, I'm glad that she fought back finally because look at them crumble. Look at them crumble. Now a lot of people after hearing these things from Billy decided that they should also discuss his child and how he probably should be removed from Nisian and Lainey. But I'm sorry, as much as we've seen evidence that he may be a paedophile or at most somebody who really enjoys teenagers, barely legal or not even legal, of course we can't necessarily prove it outright in a court of law, we don't know what he's like with his actual kids. Yes, he's very controlling towards women that he's in a relationship with or some kind of relationship with. Oh, it turns out with Lainey, they're both controlling over one particular person. I don't know if that's necessarily the same with his kid, though I'm not ruling it out. I do think we probably should err on the side of caution and just stick with criticising him over Billy and not bring his kids into it unless anything comes out about that. Billy didn't really mention his kids unless I missed that. And I think that's just people kind of being concerned and maybe getting a bit knee-jerk, so let's just wait about that and see what actually happens before we go around bringing his kids into it. So that's the end of the video, people. I could have gone really in-depth, but people already have gone in-depth. People have made loads of videos about this, and I'm just giving you my opinion on it because, well, I think it's warranted. So until next time, this has been Changman93. Like, share the video, subscribe to my channel, donate to my Patreon, and until next time, I'll see you all later.